Greetings, fellow traveler. I want to remind you that God leaves signs everywhere. I know I've said this before. I want you to truly pay attention to what you see in your world, what resonates with you. There's signs everywhere. You can watch a movie. And the simplest statement or the simplest scene can help you grasp the power that you have in your reality. Prime example, for some reason, I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm like, all right, what do I do? I'm up. So I turn on Inception on Netflix, chilling with myself, watch Netflix. I watch Inception, and there's one line. I mean, the movie in and of itself has, it has many lessons. It's, it's an allegory in and of itself. We're dreaming a dream, right? That's what life is. It's a whole nother talk. But it's at one point where DiCaprio is talking to the soon-to-be new architect on his team. <laughs> I just had another revelation. It's interesting. He's talking to the new recruit, the new architect. And when they're in the dream, she says, who are these people? And he tells her, these people are projections of my subconscious. This goes along with the last video because... You realize that everything that you see in the world is something within you and it's projected out to create the reality the reality that surrounds you everything that's a that's a trip because the more that you put positive or reaffirming things into your subconscious the more you surround yourself with different messages or ideas or even thoughts you let those sow into your subconscious and the more you allow that to sow into your subconscious the more you reap that kind of harvest see I, I've watched that movie many times over my life probably about five or six times but this was the first time I seen it and realized how much it was showing us about life the simple idea that our life this reality that we know we call it the real world but it's really a dream it's a dream. Our spirit is put into our father, sends us to Mother Earth. We're conceived into this meat soup vessel. We're dreaming a dream. It's not our truest form. But we are connected to this meat soup. So we pick up the five senses and we navigate this world from a sense perspective, from a carnal perspective. For a majority of, well, I won't say a majority, for We'll say what, first 20 years of your life? Maybe even 30, maybe even 40, maybe your whole life. But I'm a firm belief that at some point, that spirit that is incarnate into this meat suit continuously rises. It rises and it gets to a point to where we begin to remember who we truly are. And at that point is when we have a certain kind of awareness because we're not stuck in thinking that we are this human form. We understand that we are so much more and we come from so much more. I can't speak for anybody else. It's simply my belief. But if we look at the world and everything in this reality, it's the same thing. You sow an idea into your brain, just like Inception. You give it time to come to the surface, to rise from the subconscious. And then our conscious mind takes it on. And then if we have to do something physically to bring it into a manifestation of physical form, it comes to be. No matter how long or how no matter how long it takes, it just doesn't matter. It happens. You sow a seed. Every seed has its own time to process. Then it breaks through the soil. Then it keeps going through a process until you reap the harvest. It's the same thing. You have a child. The child is conceived. When those two forces come together over time, gestation period, baby comes out. It's, nothing, it's really nothing different. Reminding you of the power of who we are. We're simply dreaming a dream. Hope that wasn't too abstract for y'all. Uh, something just came to my mind and I really wanted to share it with you because I feel that at least one may resonate with that message. 
Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.